us. Hi, Beanie Babies. We love them and you love them. But did you know the crazy evolution of Thai? Join us as we go through the history of one of the most famous toy lines ever created. Now obviously there are too many Thai products for us to include them all in this video as it would be over 8 hours long. So we're just going to include the most famous and the most well known of the products. So join us as we reveal the crazy history behind Thai. Now our story starts in 1993. And in 1993, nine Beanie Babies were released. They were called Legs the Frog, Squealer the Pig, Spot the Dog, Flash the Orca, Splash the Whale, Chocolate the Moose, Patty the Platypus, Brownie the Bear, and Pinchers the Lobster. These were the original nine Beanie Babies that Ty Warner designed to be released. In 1994, the original nine were brought into mass production and they started to be introduced into stores. Unfortunately though, there was little interest in them. Ty Warner actually struggled to get them into many stores as unfortunately the demand was not there for them originally. In June of 1995, Ty Warner released a royal blue elephant named Peanut. Little did he know that this little elephant would actually take him from being a poor toy salesman to one of the richest men on the planet. In October 1995, Ty Warner's journey would actually begin. Ty Warner was a well-known perfectionist and he would keep constantly changing his products to try and get the next big sale. One of Ty Warner's ex-girlfriends actually said that once he spent eight hours taking a picture of one single cat for one of his catalogues. But it was this obsessive behaviour which gave him his big break when in October 1995 he decided to change the colour of Peanut from a dark royal blue into a baby blue colour. With the release of this lighter blue Peanut, Ty Warner began to notice something strange. He noticed that people were started selling the old royal blue peanut for more than it was worth. He noticed that suddenly the royal blue peanut was a collectible item and that's when it hit him. Ty Warner would start to release Beanie Babies and then retire them making them collectible and this was the genius stroke which made Beanie Babies one of the most collectible items in history. All of a sudden stores wanted to stock his Beanie Babies and that is when it all kicked off. In 1996, as Beanie Babies continued to grow in popularity, Thai Inc. released a new product called Teeny Beanies, and they were a miniature product of the original Beanie Babies line. They were sold alongside McDonald's Happy Meals to celebrate McDonald's Happy Meals 17th anniversary. On the 31st of August 1997, very sadly, Diana Princess of Wales died in a car accident in Paris. In order to commemorate her death, later that year, Ty released the Princess Diana commemorative Beanie Baby, and thus one of the most famous Beanie Babies, or infamous Beanie Babies, was born. This was at the point in which Beanie Baby fever was beginning to grow momentum. Beanie Baby collectors everywhere convinced themselves that this Princess Diana bear was going to be a super rare limited edition Beanie Baby. They were very, very wrong. Collector demand drove the secondary market price of the Princess Beanie Baby to well over $200. When different versions and tag variations appeared, speculation about the variations caused even more confusion and prices to rise even further about the Diana Beanie Baby. New collectors were being misled into believing the Princess Bear was valuable by uninformed, dishonest or deluded sellers on eBay who frequently attempt to try and sell or auction the Princess for prices ranging from hundreds to thousands or even millions of dollars. Truth is, behind all of the speculation and all of the crazy prices that surrounded the Princess Diana Beanie Baby, the fact is that none of them are rare. They were mass produced as a lot of the other Beanie Babies and in fact these days, even for a first edition, even for one with a tag error, even for one that they list as all different weird and wonderful concoctions, they're not worth any more than $10. 1998 was the height of Beanie Baby fever. It seemed like almost everyone was going crazy for these cute little plushes. 
There were Beanie Baby collector's fairs, and most kids had them in their bedrooms, but adults were huge collectors too. Almost every shop you could think of was selling them. It was a craze that was unlike anything the world had ever seen before and would most likely ever see again. Adults were spending thousands of dollars on just one Beanie Baby. The mass hysteria was causing adults to even invest their children's college funds into buying Beanie Babies in the hope that they would actually become millionaires in the future. There was even one case of an adult being murdered over a Beanie Baby and another case in which a couple actually separated their Beanie Babies in court during their divorce proceedings. 1998 also saw the introduction of Beanie Buddies, much larger versions of the original Beanie Babies. In the middle of 1999, Beanie Babies sadly started to be on the decline as people realised that they'd been caught up in the mass hysteria surrounding them and they started to realise that perhaps these Beanie Babies they'd invested in might not be worth so much after all. And due to this rapid decline in Beanie Baby sales, Ty Warner decided to discontinue all Beanie Babies as of December 31st, 1999. So this was the famous day that the Beanie Babies died. Or did they? However, with the start of the new millennium, Beanie Babies were back again. After much public outcry and petitions, Ty Warner brought Beanie Babies back again with the beginning there. However, many people speculate that in fact Ty Warner had planned the beginning bear all along and that it was all a clever marketing ploy in order to keep people interested because Ty Warner knew that with the decline of sales from the previous year he had to come up with a clever plan in order to keep people interested in his product. Between the year 2000 and 2008, Ty continued to release Beanie Babies of all different varieties and all different kinds. The sales were steady throughout the years and they never really declined, they kind of stayed at a point in which he was making some money, but it was never going to be at the fever pitch it was at in the 1990s. But again, as predicted, Beanie Baby sales began to decline towards the end of 2007 and into 2008, though Ty Warner had to come up with yet another plan. In January of 2008, Beanie Babies 2.0 were released, and each Beanie Baby came with a special code. Once the buyer entered the code on Ty's website, the buyer was granted access to an online environment in which the user can gather points and communicate with other users through chat services. So they were able to actually look after their virtual pets online, and this coincided brilliantly with the rise in technology. This game was very similar to another very popular game at the time called Club Penguin. However, this was another failed idea, with Bo the Portuguese water dog being the last official Beanie Baby 2.0 announced in April 2009. And they were soon to be replaced with another product. In June of 2009, a brand new Thai product hit the shelves. These were called Beanie Boos. These Beanie Boos had huge massive eyes and they were slightly chubbier and dare I say it much much cuter than the original Beanie Babies. This cuteness appeal made them much more appealing to younger children. The original 7 Beanie Boos were released into the UK and they were UK exclusives at first. There was Bamboo, there was Bubblegum, there was Coconut, Kiwi, Peanut, Slush and Waddles. Later on, in August 2009, another release of Beanie Boos arrived in the UK. Peanut had vanished, which is why Peanut is one of the most rare Beanie Boos there is out there. And the original Bubblegum, which was the koala bear, had a new name, and that was Kooky. A new lemur appeared with the name Bubblegum, accompanied by a bush baby named Cleo. In November 2009, Beanie Boos arrived in the USA for the first time. Though Ty had to remove Bubblegum and Cleo from the lineup to be in the US market in response to a copyright infringement by Aurora World, who also had some Lima style plushes available with big eyes at the time. And from 2009 to 2011, Ty went on to produce lots of different Beanie Boos in different variations and different styles. 
and for the first time in a while, Thai sales began to rise. With this time, the collectors being mainly children rather than adults. In 2011, beanie balls were produced. The introduction included nine balls named Avalanche, Bananas, Bandit, Bonsai, Dots, Flash, Speedy, Tumbles and Zips. When the balls are thrown, rolled or bounced, they land on their feet. In 2012, the first ever sparkly eyed Beanie Boos were released. These were Beanie Boos that had glittery sort of designs in the back of their eyes. These were exclusively released in a store called Justice and there were four released originally. Their names were Sapphire, Glamour, Treasure and Duchess. And these sparkly eyed Beanie Boos must have been really popular because of what happened next. In 2013, sparkly-eyed Beanie Boos began to replace the solid-eyed Beanie Boos. There is also a change in their tag from the original purple to a new red and gold. And as of this year, all the solid-eyed Beanie Boos were placed into retirement and replaced by sparkly Boos instead. 2013 also saw the first year in which there was a partnership between Claire's Accessories and Beanie Boos. This was with the introduction of Zazzy the Zebra. This Beanie Boo was a Claire's exclusive and only available within Claire's stores. This has been continued until today, with many new exclusive Beanie Boos being released to Claire's every year. 2014 saw McDonald's and Beanie Boos have their first partnership with an exclusive range of Beanie Boos in McDonald's Happy Meals. 2015 saw an interesting release indeed. These were called Peekaboos and they were little phone holders, styled in the style of a Beanie Boo, but you could place your smartphone on them while she had it on charge or while she slept. This was just another example of Ty Warner catching on and catching up with technology. 2016 saw the release of Teeny Ties, and these were vaguely based on the Disney Sum Sum series, which are like toys that are stackable. They obviously drew inspiration from that series and created this super cute gang of stackable and collectible Beanie Boos. 2017 saw the release of Mini Boos Collectibles, which were little hand-painted figurines, really cute versions of the actual Beanie Boos that had been released. These came in blind boxes, so they were a total surprise which one you would unwrap and which one you would get, and they were a really new, fun and enjoyable way to collect Beanie Boos. And the evolution of Thai was complete with the 2018 release of the new Thai Flipper Balls. These are super cute Beanie Boos and Beanie Babies covered in sequins and they look super cool and they're something new and different that Thai hasn't ever released before. Whether this new release is going to be a success or not remains to be seen, but I predict that children and adults alike are going to like to collect these awesome new additions to the Thai family. And so guys, that brings us up to date with the evolution of Thai. Isn't it funny how their products have changed over the years? What were your guys' favourites? Comment below. What do you think Thai will do next? Let us know. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more Thai videos. We upload daily, so remember to turn on that notification bell in order to see our new uploads. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.